The chains that I become or how these changes we're all going to are most likely attached to the exact same one. From the day we came to our senses and cross paths right up to this very special moment in time. Just know that you did make a difference in my life and in my life I pray that I may do the same sometime. But either way it's all a passing pace without a cause, a train without tracks, a brain without flaws, a face without a grin and a spirit in a body changing back into the shape that it originally was again. My name's Justin. Justin Clarkin, and I guess I'm gonna freestyle for you guys. I'm holding this together like I'm glue on top of feathers, and I know this is better than your weather, but I can't weather the storm. So I ignore the harm that is inside. So I try to run and hide, but I just don't know how to collide with these meteors. They're all tapping on my feet, and I don't know what to say because I don't have a beat. So I just plant a seed and hope it grows a tree because I'm- I'd have to say my favorite genre of music would have to be hip hop, rap, um alternative um pop there's just like so many different good genres out there my favorite genre of music is hip-hop and rap and my one of my favorite artists is kid cuddy i really like hip-hop like tyler the creator a lot uh i'd say my favorite genre of music would be metal and uh my favorite artists probably have to be ozzy osbourne uh, my favorite genre of music would be probably rap or um, pop rock, maybe. But uh, my favorite, uh, yeah, it's mostly rap, like Doomtree type stuff. My favorite musicians are Katy Perry, Band of Horses, um, The Shins, and I really like Dessa as well. Wanting to make music has always felt sort of like an elemental drive. You know, it's like, well, why do you get hungry? I don't know. I just haven't eaten in a while. It was really cool meeting Dessa. Oh, cool. Thank you guys for the interview. Yeah. She was kind of a newer artist that I'm starting to get into, and meeting her like right off the bat is really cool, and she seems really down to earth, and it makes listening to her a lot easier because I've met her and I've, I've uh, like, kind of, I got to know her just a little bit. We're the Brutes. We're the Brutes. And uh, <laughs> the genre, what, indie rock? Yeah, something like that. I met with the Brutes and like worked with them through a music video. It was a two-day shoot. It was cool because they just kind of like hung out and were there all day and kind of were giving input to their video. So the concept of the video was um, a boy and a girl, and the boy was, was out of place in the girl's world. She's kind of nervous about what her friends think, but then they escape together. I'm just one of the mean friends that doesn't really like the guy, the misfit guy. But um, they don't end up together in the end because their worlds don't mix. My name is Cody. I go by the stage name of Sadistic, and my musical genre is indie hip hop slash alternative slash other. I started making music when I was 14 years old, which uh, was kind of a natural progression from writing poetry. I started doing music professionally when I was 21. I went to a Pray for Paralysis concert um, and I got to interview Sadistic. And I have to say it's one of my favorite experiences I've had in life so far. Sadistic is one of my favorite rappers because Lyrically, his lyrics are just so deep. The video for Searching for Some Beautiful was really important to me. It shows me with an 8mm camera shooting things and they're bleak, like the roses are black, like my interactions with people are all negative. And then at the end when my character dies, you see what the actual footage was and it was actually beautiful things, but I wasn't able to see it because, or my character wasn't able to see it because my mind frame was so diluted with negativity. I would say one theme within most of my stuff is that there's always some sort of a message. Um, and I, I strive for that. Try to tell me the only way for me to beat it was to be it, but now I see him sick of being seasick, so I'll stick with the scenic route. I mean it now like a teenage smile. I try to write a lot about stories that are either bigger than me or stories that are very personal but maybe have some like universal element to them. I tend to be more interested in what makes people human and how people tend to kind of 
have a tendency to run away from their humanity. I think that's something that is worth drawing attention to. I look towards these bigger artists and I, I take what they look at and I like, I love the topics that they do and it's like, I'm, of course I'm going to be influenced by something that you love. When I hear a song that I really like and that I know I'm capable of playing really well on guitar, um, I I make it a goal of playing that song and, and playing it well enough to play along. I think I'm affected by sadistic and other musicians lyrically because I write poetry, I write rap. I feel like the intensity at which teens are influenced by it is stronger um, than, you know, kids or adults, young adults. We are affected by what we listen to and what we see more than we even think we are. And so, you know, that phrase, you are what you eat. I think a lot of times you think what you see. I think artists should be responsible to manifesting their vision. I think they should be responsible towards um, being true to their talents. As an artist, you can only be responsible for so much. Like me and anybody else who makes anything artistic usually just makes, just kind of takes what's inside them and puts it on the outside. I had uh, somebody email me cursing me out, saying their friend tried to kill himself and his last like 10 um, Facebook updates were lyrics of mine and he was blaming me and things like that, which I think people um, take a little too far. If your music is really impacting things, then you're, you're making a difference. If it's good or bad, that's the, that's the drawback. If you are going to make art, that's why the way I look at it is that you might as well make something that, that promotes some sort of introspection or growth or honesty. I think as a human being, forget the fact that I'm a rapper, I probably shouldn't leave the world a lousier place than I found it. I don't think artists or rappers have to raise anybody else's kids. I just think you, you should try to be a, a force for honest, positive change in the world. I think that artists and musicians should be good role models just because I think that people should be good in general. What do you think?